Tell us a bit more about this plan. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This is an extensive plan that Apple has through the second half of 2023 deep into 2027 to very much expand its retail operations globally uh, with a particular focus actually on Asia, right? So what you're going to see there uh, in particular are several new stores in China. There's a new store coming next year, a new flagship plus store as they call it, coming to the Jing'an Plaza at the temple uh, in China. That's gonna be significant. Uh, you're going to see uh, several new mall stores over the next few years in China as well. You're going to see the new, the first new store in Fushan, uh, China there, multiple new stores in Shanghai, uh, I believe a new one in Beijing as well. Uh, in Korea, you're going to see two new stores in South Korea, one in Seoul, uh, one in another district later this year as well. Several new stores and remodels in Japan. And you're also going to see the relocation of Apple's retail store in Perth, Australia. So uh, quite a significant uh, upgrade in the Asia Pacific. And one more uh, important area, India. Three new stores in the works for India for later this decade, uh, including one new one in New Delhi and two additional in Mumbai. Is this a reflection of where economic growth and consumption will come from in the next few years? And how strongly is Apple positioned in those markets, especially when you think you have its biggest rival, Samsung Electronics, in Korea as well? Yeah, I think Apple is hugely uh, successful so far in Asia and particularly all the regions I mentioned. Uh, what's clear to me is they clearly want to go into more of a growth mode in India and South Korea, uh, two real big focus areas, also uh, across mainland China, uh, outside of Hong Kong, more in the mainland parts. So clearly they're well positioned there right now, but they think they're going to see a much more growth there in the future. And that's why they want to bring more stores out to lock people into that e Apple ecosystem and get more switchers from the likes of Xiaomi, Huawei, and as you mentioned, Samsung. Uh, Mark, uh, what's Apple spending on this project and uh, what's their expected revenue as a result? Uh, yeah, it's unclear what they're spending. It typically costs, you know, upwards of uh, 10 to $50 million, depending on what kind of store to put it together. If it's a small store in a mall, it's going to be, a, you know, maybe even sub $10 million. If it's a gigantic new store, they can go upwards of $40, $50 million, uh, in terms of actual construction and development of those locations. In terms of revenue, the smaller stores generate, on average, about $40 million. Uh, their lower tier outdoor stores, about 45 million annually. And then once you start getting into the flagship ranges, you're talking between 75 million a year to 100 million a year, even more than that uh, annually, right? So clearly there's a big ROI on these developments. Mark, I'm curious, how competitive is the Apple ecosystem in these markets? Because I've lived in Korea, Japan, Hong Kong, and I know that the local markets, the local population is very used to their own local, say, search engines, their internet users. Usage is also different, the way that they use their devices, not to mention the local characters as well and the way you type is very different. Yes, yeah, certainly Apple has a lot more growth to do uh, in China. Uh, Japan in particular is an area where Apple is quite a bit behind. South Korea, obviously, with the penetration of Samsung. Uh, in India, they're very, they have very low market share, you know, maybe sub 3% on smartphones in India. And so bringing you know, the retail outlets there means they both anticipate more people getting into the ecosystem there, but also the desire to push more people into that ecosystem, right, at the same time. So clearly this follows their retail approach. This is an expansion. I wouldn't call it an acceleration, right? I mean, these openings, the amount of openings are in line of what they've done in years prior to COVID, uh, actually. So this is in line of what they were doing pre-COVID. But still, this is a nice expansion uh, and certainly flies in the face of people who thought Apple would no longer really open stores or, or, or expand into these markets at the rate that they used to.